Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. So in today's video, we're gonna show you guys how to fix the issue of Windows Server 2022 not accepting your new product key. So with just a few simple commands, we're gonna fix that. And if you guys are interested in getting Windows Server 2022 or other Microsoft software, check out Indigo Software. We'll have all the links in the description box below. So without further ado, let's begin today's video. All right, so I'm currently running Windows 11 as a demonstration purpose here, um, but we're gonna start by hitting our Windows Start button, and then we're gonna enter our settings. With the System tab selected, we're gonna scroll down all the way to the bottom where it says About. We'll click on that, and then here it'll have our specifications. So this is an important step because it's gonna tell you what edition of Windows Server that you're actually running. And that's gonna be important when we start doing these commands. All right, so I'll leave this pulled up. All right, and now that we know what edition of Windows that we're actually running, we're gonna open up our command prompt. So we'll press the Windows button. We'll type CMD. Now you have to right click on this and select Run as Administrator and select Yes on this pop-up. And then this little window is gonna open here. So our first command is gonna be SLMGR space forward slash IPK space and then your product key. So we'll have all the commands in the description box below so that you guys can just copy and paste it right in. With that, we're gonna press enter. And then the next command is slmgr space forward slash ato. We'll press enter. And once we've typed both of these two commands in, we're actually gonna type another command. And this one is gonna be specific to what edition of server that you're actually running. So there's a database version, there's a standard edition. And for this final command, I'm actually gonna open my notepad. And where these little X's are, you wanna replace this with your product key before we run this in the command. So, so here is what the entire command looks like. I've put my personal product key in there and we're just gonna copy this and we'll paste, press enter. All right, so that was the final step in fixing the product key issue. Uh, in some cases, if it's not finished for you yet, you'll have to run this ATO and IPK command all over again. So just note that if it's not working for you currently, run those two exact same commands again, the very first two that we did, and you should be all good to go. All right, so that's gonna do it for today's video. If you guys have any questions, be sure to let us know in the comment section below. And if this video helped you out, we'd really appreciate a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Again, if you'd like to pick up Server 2022 or Microsoft software in general at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll have all the links in the description box below. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.